Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did. And listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking. Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. At last, we must row in these waters. We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs. The Saxons are here. Catch the wind. Will be well gone. Ah, by nothing more than priests and prayers. Let's have a song. Green sail. What's got it? Ready. Fire. More sail. Sing us a song. Hush now. Monaster. We raise All ashore. Take what you can and be swift about it. Or we slay every last man and take all the time we need. Should we be so lucky? Hide and take it. And kill those guards!
Come here a moment. A good horn. Let's get out of here. work from all of you. We should return home and unload everything. Are you certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. Sail out! So, Eivor, what's your count? My count? Dag, I've no need to count my kills. They number too many. Likely story, Wolfkist. Me? I killed 26, I think. Ah, there were barely a dozen when we arrived, Doug. No, no, you missed them. They attacked from the forest. Dock the ship here. We will pick up. Back so soon. This is wonderful, Laver. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. Ah, the gods are smiling on us today, Eivor. Sex 
Saxons break their kingdoms into smaller categories called shires. Eivor! In here! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. A letterbox for messages and requests. Hmm. Hmm. Not much, but it is mine. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. But why now? What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dak. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling staple would be a great boon here. I will see what I can do. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord, look at it!
like living in the longhouse. I feel like a Yarl. There you are. You wanted to see me? As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances. I am clad with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leather-Chestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Letter Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton. ...to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia... ...with the hope of installing a King of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north, on the River Trent. Hytham, Randvi asked me to see you, about finding friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, Jorvik, Winchester, all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kjotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one, but with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. Let's go.
No raising the sail here. Strike up a tune. Steed, my words gain wings. All oh, things need I for will bring. For noble deeds, thine honor sing. Let the sail out! Brave and slain, Valkyrie waves. Reward for strain to Valhalla takes. Then horns resounds the mighty horn. For those who fight, for those who fall. For those who fight, for those who fall. Warlord weaves his web of fear. Each man gets his fate and cheer. A blood red search the warrior shield. Raven scan the battlefield. Raven scan the battlefield. Beaten blaze, our trail of red, clothing gaze upon the dead, and horns resound the mighty horn. For those who fight, for those who fall. For those who fight, and those who fall. We have to the horns the mighty horn. For we who take the mask down. Sailing is too risky now. Mast, clear. Mast up. More sail.
Sing us a song. Not right now. Sing, my ravens. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Ah! 
Who stands before Eva Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor! If you keep that up, I'll stay in the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending spies! Now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy. To run them up through the Mercian fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You planted your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. Don't play me for a fool, Abba. I know Burgund. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit, I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Ubak. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Chelwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Do you have what it takes to be king? One day, I hope. As it stands, we at least have an understanding. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jail Wolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole, only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shale Wolf, come morning this Shire is ours. 
and Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Bugred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Cheerwolf betrayed his present king. Maybe tomorrow he betrays us too. Why trust him? How can I answer that with any hope that you'd believe me? I only want what is best for the people of Mercia. And I want what's best for my son. In Burgred's Mercia, where Danes and Saxons murder one another daily, it's not possible. This is a good plan, brother. I'm ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come. If only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheerwolf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here. To the Swan Road! Sail! Catch the wind! Hold here! Southeast. 
Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields. And Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear then. And the thunder of shields. Yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of he war. Does not need to fight to be Move! A... Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwolf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Can't be an heir if he's dead, Ivar. Can he wield a sword? I've had some training. I only... I don't want to kill anyone. These men are my friends. My countrymen. Relax, little king. They won't call you friend now. You can thank your father for that. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Haha, <laughs> you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. Have to endure my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And hold eyes open. You smell that, Trailbert? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think. What is Trailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Trailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of Danes. Safe from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this shire to hell. Fears are with us, common folk. But Burgred still has his soldiers all over mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. Not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Thornburg, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was it a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harold by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harold. By words and by weapons, both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any skull's song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Tilbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. <laughs> In truth, Tilbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger, not King Harold. My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a battle with me. It was not merely a deception. 
It was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Guards here. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's ex that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough joying, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Would you settle for a Norse? We're not as gentle, but we're much better poets. <laughs> Norse, Dane, dog, you're all the same to me, all godless. My king. May I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse! Man the walls! Back to the camp! Round up the men! We're taking Tamworth tonight! Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. You know your way around the back. I've seen them in action. I want you at that on the road. Yeah! I'll be there. As will I. Good. <laughs> Care to test your skill at all? Who are you? 
are you? I'm with the Ragnarsons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? Let's go. It's time to capture a kingdom. What are we going to do about him? Jailbird. Something wrong? I know these men, Aloy. I've supped with them. Not two weeks ago, Leofrith showed me how to wield a greatsword. He's a friend. Friendships end, often at the point of a spear. It cannot be that cold. Least of all with Leofrith. He is only following orders. When the march begins, find an empty tent and stay there. Do not think me a coward. I am not afraid of war. I do not want to kill my friends. There's no other way. Fight or hide. It's up to you. Destroy the gate! Slaughter the soldiers!
It's over, Burgred. Lay down your weapons, Sansa. Take three men and search the rear. Look around. See what you can find. I'll send for Chaerwolf. Tell him we found a throne. get on the other side. Maybe you missed him. Your lies are just like you. Burkrat called for help, enlisted the aid of powerful men. But who are these warriors he speaks of? Found a letter. There's a symbol here. Your men have any luck? Nothing. You? This. Do you know that symbol? Tona Sigil. It seems she's been dealing with Burgred as well. The wretch. She was the mercenary barking at you in Repton, yes? She's playing both sides of this war. She could have told him anything. Sold him secrets about me, about Repton. Our plans. Why bother with all this pageantry? Fashion a new crown and stick it on your melon. There you have it, you're the new king. That is not how it works. Not in Mercia. We are wasting time. Tana is our only lead. We talk to her. Find out what she knows. I would sooner launch my face into my axe than face her. That might improve her impression of you. We have the same father, Eivor. But his mother was a sow. Meet us at Tana's camp when you're finished here. And bring your patience. And your axe! Eivor, a word, if you would. Go, I'll catch up. I will join the brothers, Eivor. Meet us at Tonus. My son told me what happened earlier, with Ivar pressuring him to fight. He said you intervened. You would be mourning your son if I hadn't. <laughs> He's not a fighter. No, but he should be. By trial or by training. He'll come around in time. But keep him from Ivar if you can. He's the furthest thing from a mentor.